everybody, it's me Alice and today I'm going to do my Christmassy makeup look as this was highly requested by lots of you guys and today I'm going to be adding lots of glitter into this makeup look so if you want to see that, let's keep on watching the video. So firstly with every makeup look I'm going to have to use some primers. So the primers which I'm going to use is the Nivea Men Pro Shave Balm which I'm sure you've all heard about, it's a very good primer and also the Pore Professional because this covers up my blackheads on my face and this is just amazing so yeah. After I have used primer, I'm going to use my Freedom Colour Corrector. This will just even out my skin tone as usually after I prime my face, it goes quite red and also it'll cover up any of my spots which I've got on my face because my skin is just breaking out all the time. So this is a perfect solution to cover them up. The brush I'm going to use is the Pointed Foundation Brush by Real Techniques. This is very good just to, like, to get the cream and just put it all over your face. So I'm going to apply it like this gonna put it on here and then here and then on my forehead and on my chin and then obviously I'm gonna blend it out as well so that it evens out my skin tone so after I've made my face look like an ogre I'm going to use my Kat Von D Lock It foundation in the shade light 44 cool this is like my shade obviously um, and for this I'm just going to use my buffing brush just to blend it out because this brush is so soft and it's just amazing for, for just applying foundation on your face I have applied my foundation I'm going to use my LA Girl concealer for around my face and my 17 concealer for under my eyes I'm gonna put this under my eyes in triangle shapes this, this concealer is really light hence why I love using it for under my eyes because it creates a nice light coverage and it's got it in my hair then um, but I'm just gonna put it under my eyes like a triangle kind of shape I'm gonna do the same for the other one and then obviously I'm gonna blend it out with my little beauty blender from Primark which I think I got in a pack of four for £2.50 so I won't have a look because they are very good and they are the same consistency as the Real Technique ones as well but it's just a smaller one but yeah I'm just gonna blend this under my eyes and it's going to make sure that the coverage is very nice and that I don't have like black eyes because um, you know no one likes that look. I'm going to use my LA Girl concealer. This is in the shade Fair and I bought this in the shop in Holland but I'm aware that you can get this on Beauty Bay which is a makeup website and you know on the foundation as well. I'm just going to put this on my spot. I like to put it like this. I've got like some cat whiskers because I feel like that's good because that's here as well. I've got the most spots on my face. So I can put the most concealer on there, I'm going to put it on my chin, my nose, I'm going to put a little bit on my forehead as well. So after I've used all my concealer, I'm going to use my Revolution Cream Contour like Sculpting Kit. So the brush I'm going to use is my Real Techniques Bold Metals Limited Edition um, Flat Contour Brush, which is amazing for cream contour if you, if you want one, they're very good. So I'm just going to put this on my cheekbones, wait a minute. So yeah, I'm just going to put it on my cheekbones. So after I have used my cream contour, I'm going to use my two powders, my collection one for setting my concealer under my eyes, and then my two faced one for setting all around my face as well. And I think the shade which I'm going to use in the Too Faced one will probably be the bronzy one because I am going for like a Christmassy more bronzy look today so I feel like this one will match with that so yeah. So after I have powdered I'm going to use my Kat Von D powder contour palette this is just the shade and the light one and obviously I'm going to use oops and then obviously I'm going to use the lightest shade and the lightest light palette as well and obviously I'm just going to put this on my cheekbones and my forehead as well. <laughs> So after I have contoured my face, I'm going to use my most favourite highlight palette ever and this is just the Anastasia Moonchild palette. I'm going to use the shade, which shades I use? I'm going to use the shade Blue Moon just because I used it on my sister and it looked gorgeous so that's the shade that I'm going to use. So I'm going to put it on my nose, my brow bone, on my cheekbones and on my lip as well. Let's have a look if the highlight will pop. Oh my god, look at that gorgeous shine beautiful that is. I'm going to put it on the other one. Can you guys see that? Oh my god, this is absolutely incredible. I'm going to put it on my nose as well. Like, oh my god, oh my god, this is actually blinding. I, I look like an actual tin man. I'm not even joking. 
She's the most beautiful highlight shade ever. And before I move on to my eyes, I'm going to choose my Freedom Setting Spray just because I want to set my face makeup before my eyes. Just because sometimes if I set the eye makeup with the face makeup, it can smudge all together. So I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to shake it and I'm just going to put it on my face. There we go. My face makeup is all set and I can't believe how much of a tin man I look. Like, whoa. But yeah. So this is my Morphe 35 Oil palette. It's got lots of beautiful shades. I'm not sure how many shades it has in it, but it's got a lot. And this is £23 from Beauty Bay. Obviously, it's the red toned one. It's got reds, nudes, kind of mustardy colours. And just basically all the colours which I love to use on my eyes. But I think I'm going to go for like the reddy ones and then the brown ones and some of the copper shades as well. The first shade I'm going to use is this one here. I'm just going to put this like on kind of like the crease of my eyelid just like the whole of my eyelid basically and then obviously i'm going to use some mustardy colors like this one and some kind of like shimmery colors as well no joke i look like i've got an eye infection with this red eyeshadow but trust me i don't this is the eyeshadow um i'm just going to blend this out with my little urban decay brush and um, because this is very good for blending out like eyeshadow this is the one from the naked smoky palette so if you want to get the naked smoky it'll come with the best brush ever and there is a van trying to reverse outside, making a lot of noise. That's always great when you're trying to film. There's always some some background noise, isn't there? But anyway, I'm just going to keep blending this out. And then obviously I'm going to add probably like a goldy shade and then a mustard shade as well. And then, my favourite part, I'll be adding the glitter. So I can't wait for you all to see that. eyeshadow everybody i've just used this red shade here this gold shade and this is like a little brown shade and the mustard as well and this has created this lovely red eye look so now i'm going to use my soap and glory super eyeliner just to create a wing just because i can't have eyeshadow without no eyeliner on because it doesn't look right with me so yeah let's watch my eyeliner fail so after my eyeliner has been applied i'm going to use my nyx eye glitter in the shade copper and just, just because this is a very nice christmasy shade and to apply it with i'm going to put some vaseline on my eyelids because obviously it just it just makes every product stick to your face so that's what i'm going to use i'm going to apply it with my finger but i'm only going to get a tiny bit because obviously i have got small eyes but i'm just going to kind of like wipe it across my eyelid um just carefully because I don't want to smudge anything. I'm just going to put it on my eyelid just because it kind of acts like a glitter glue in a way. I'm just going to put it on the other eyelid as well. Put it into a little pot. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm just going to get like a tiny bit and put it in the pot just because then it's easier to handle. So after I've applied the glitter, I'm going to use my roller lash mascara as I don't have any eyelashes at the moment because they all kind of got really tacky and they've got glue all over them so I've thrown them out but I'm going to use I think it's either their real or the roller lash mascara I'll decide which one I'm going to use but I'm going to put it on my eyelashes so after I've applied the mascara I'm going to use my NYX eyebrow pomade in the shade blonde obviously to do my eyebrows because they need to be done so after i have done my eyebrows i'm going to use my nyx lingerie in the shade exotic as this is a beautiful red shade and this is one of my favorite lipsticks ever so i'm going to put this on and then afterwards i will show you an overview of the makeup so, this is the finished makeup look <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below and i'll see you in the next video